Israel gives power and strength to his people. We have a theme going here, don't we? Whoa, who needs strength? I do. Praise be to God. That's how that scripture ends. I think we'd all agree that we need a big, mighty God in a mighty big way, amen? Oh, yeah. You may be seated.
You know, I forgot to say, Baptist means you cannot have fun. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure our bylaws say no country music. <laughs> and that sounded like country music to me. We'll, we'll change the name of it, yeah. Um, you know, uh, I want to introduce a guy named Jared to you. Kopsinski. And correct me if I'm wrong on that, Jared. Jared's been coming to our church about six to nine months. And a lot of people come to church so that they can be ministered to. Jared came to this church so that he could minister. And uh, he's got a great story. He's a student at BSU. Are you a sophomore? Junior? Ish. Ish. Yeah. I'm a minister-ish, too. So uh, listen, listen to Jared. All right, like you said, I'm Jared Kopsinski. I grew up here in the valley for the most part, at least the last 10 or 12 years, but I'd like to start by just saying that, you know, I'm no more than a man that struggles with and has struggled with continually all the sins that Christ discussed, that, all the, that Paul and all the people in the Bible discussed, and I'm no more than that. But fortunately, I have a Savior who has given me the opportunity to live out of that, to live freedom with that. And so I'd like just to start by saying I grew up as a kid who went to church on occasion, who went to church with no real desire. I really did not want to be there. I went to make my parents happy. I always kind of hated seeing people upset with me or sad or angry with me, so I'd rather just make my parents smile. So I'd go to church with them. I'd do what they asked. But, you know, I really didn't care. I was bored stiff most days I went, nearly every day, actually. And that's kind of just how it went. Things went that way. And, but then I got into high school, and I had no foundation with that. I would by no means say I grew up in a Christian home. And through this experience, through this, I got into high school. I started, I fooled around with alcohol in a little bit. I played varsity lacrosse as a freshman, and so it just kind of happened that way. I was around people drinking all the time, and so I drank here and there with some friends and did that, but that wasn't really what drove me. What drove me was I just loved to have fun. I loved different things that were risky, so I raced a motocross, and I skied, and I kayaked, and I did anything that would make life exciting, anything that would make life have this purpose for me, and that purpose happened to have been just excitement, being thrilled, being at the edge of how close I was in control, and so that's kind of how it went. And that was my life leading up to high school. Around my freshman or sophomore year, though, so where I'm going to change the story. I could continue to tell you about many things. It was my life before Christ, but I really think what's more valuable is my life since and my life with. And so my freshman or sophomore year, somewhere in there, my parents and my grandfather asked